Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek at Night and we're gonna do another unboxing reaction. This is another box we bought from Steel City. So last time we had Brett open a box for us and we watched him live and reacted to it. And we're gonna do the same thing tonight. This time Steve is gonna be helping us out and he's gonna open one of our other boxes. Now the other ones we're waiting on the big order we made uh, between us and our mom and stuff. Uh, those were all, some of them were ordered before Christmas and the, you know, the set kept getting delayed. So we've been waiting on it. Well, now it's finally coming in the mail and it should be here in the next day or two. So I figured while we're waiting on that, let's just do another one of these. This was so much fun and I'm just so excited for these cards. And I really am just trying to increase our chances to hopefully get an autograph uh, from Oscar Isaac. Uh, so fingers crossed, you know, usually other people have good luck when it comes to this stuff and we don't. So I'm gonna let Steve here open up this box. He's about to, he's got the box in the background right now. I can see it. So thank you for being here. I hope you liked the last episode. And if you did, we're gonna do another one right now. So let's get into it. All right, he's got our box here. Woo! Here we go, man. Ah, I love this. I love this so much. I've never done this like this before with box breaking. Like I've opened boxes and stuff, but it's quite an event uh, lately. Like when I was getting into like buying cards and stuff like Ghost Rider cards, it was years ago. And then, you know, Blue got into some magic stuff. So he kind of pulled me back into this. And it just makes sense because he pulled me into the Moon Knight show. And then now he's pulling me into, you know, breaking cards and stuff. And we don't have a lot of money to keep doing this. So we're only doing it this one time. And that's why we're kind of going all out. We had a bunch of, you know, PayPal credit. And that's why we're here. Just kind of using that up. So this is exciting. I, I can't wait. And uh, I hope we get something really cool tonight. All right. Our next break. All right. Next break. Here we go. Uh, is for Seek. Yes. It's a 2023 Upper Deck Marvel Studios Moon Knight Oof. Hobby Box. Good luck. All right. Good luck to us. Let's go. Let's go. Last one was for Blue. This box is for me. I mean, we share it, of course, obviously. <laughs> but, yeah. And I love that there's... The box is amazing. I'm going to preserve a, a couple of the boxes autograph. when they come in. So, yeah, we're trying to get an autograph. That would be amazing. Uh, but I love that the box has Moon Knight on it and the packs have Mr. Knight on it. Uh, which is great because he's like an altar inside of Moon Knight. So it's great that the packs are inside a Moon Knight box. It's cool. All right, here we go. First pack. Come on. Let's hit something good. Ooh, okay. Got a, I mean, the sand parallels. I was calling them variants in the other episode. I've been trying to do some research. Blue knows a lot more about this than I do. Ooh, a Mr. Knight one. That's cool. Um, but every pack, I think, has a sand parallel in it. Pack number three here. All right. Come on, fingers crossed. Ooh, oh, a blue one. We got another blue variant. I think these are like one a box. It's like a package deal now. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. That's a great line. We come as a package deal line. Uh, that's great. That's so cool. We do come as a package deal. <laughs> Wait. There was no sand variant in that one. Everybody kind of crapped on Marvel since they, uh, here we go. We've got a lunar phase full moon. Oh, we got a full moon with Layla. May Calumway as Layla. Awesome. Really nice insert there. Ever since the, uh, you know, the Infinity Saga is over. Whoa. People like to complain about uh, Marvel. I thought the shows have been good. I wasn't a big fan of um, Fury Show, uh, Secret Invasion, a Sand variant. I'll double check. Whoa! What do we have here an Acetate a Antiquities. Okay. F. Murray Abraham. Conchu, a Conchu one. Similar 
Dude, we got Conchu. I'm sorry, I'm typing like at the same the time. That's so great. Oh my yeah, god, that's so great. We got an um, Antiquities again. We got the blue variant. The Saga. Oh, we got a Chamber of the Gods. I think we Chamber had this one before the from the first box. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's why, because he the way he shuffles them. So I thought he one of the packs didn't have a sand variant in it, but apparently it's just the way he shuffles them. He does them differently than Brett, so I get it now. Oh, cool. Awesome. Sweet. Coming together, coming together. All right, all right. He's blazing through these, though. He goes really fast. <laughs> Brett was, like, reading the cards out and, you know, checking checking in on them. But um, that was another pack, though. I don't think I saw a sand variant. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Maybe one of those cards is... No, I see him now. Okay. Some of them are just more subtle. Oh, come on. Please be an autograph in this box somewhere. Oh, man. Come on, come on. I forgot about the ending whenever he goes to the, uh... Info. <laughs> if you know, you know. Nice. Oh, man. Not a ton of stuff in this box so far. I mean, the Antiquities and the Lunar thing is cool. Um, it was a level one Antiquities, I believe. So, yeah, these are cool. Oh, hold on. What's this? Travelers of the Travelers Night. Of the night. Wonder. Gus. Yes. Yes. That's great. That's a great one. Oh, that's a great pull. All right, last pack. Come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Uh, yes, Sam, if you get it in. What's that? There you go, it's a sand variant. Oh, okay, we did. Chamber of the God. Chamber of the God sand variant. Oh, the, the van chase sequence. Cool. And that'll do it. Hey, thanks so much. That's awesome. So cool. That's great. All right, we got a couple of good pulls in there. Thank you, Zeke. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, the Lunar card and the Conchu card were fantastic. Um, oh, man, that's so cool. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't, like, react, react. He's He blazed through those. So that was tough. That was tough to keep up because uh, he was just boom, boom, boom. So I saw, I think, like, two packs didn't have sand variants in them or parallels, whatever they're called. Um, so I'm. I want to yeah, take a. Really nice. I want to take a closer look at those um, when when they come in because I'm wondering if one of them is like a numbered card and it just didn't have like a, a, a you know a border around it of some kind or what. I don't know. I have to go back and I'll even try to rewatch the footage and go slower. But yeah, I mean, but still, Steve, dude, thank you. And yeah, the, the main cards stand out. Like uh, there might be some hidden hidden things in there. But um, but for the most part, like it's it's clear when you find a unique card. Like that lunar card really stood out. That Conchu acetate card really stood out. The anti antiquity card. So like those really pop. The Traveler of the Night card. So this is good, and it get, does increase my chances to get some more of those because those are certain number of pack. Like you know, there's the main base cards I was noticing, and then there's the you know inserts. I guess they call them, which are the chase cards, the harder ones to find that there are lower print runs of. And there's a chance that we could get like a full with as many boxes as we got, especially adding these two that we did for this. Uh, there's a chance we could get a full set of those based on, you know, they're like one in every like 20 packs or something or 15 packs. So like almost one a box, maybe. So there's a chance we could get full runs of those cards, too. So that's great. We won't get full Lunar stuff because I think Lunars are like one in every 90 packs or it depends on which moon you know if it's the full moon like which we had tonight i think that's a little bit more rare than the new moon which what we got the other night so it depends so those are harder to get but the fact that we did two boxes and got two lunars is amazing and then the blue cards i think those are one a box and usually if you get one in a box the chance of you getting an autograph are uh, slimmer i guess uh it's, it's at least that's what i've been seeing online a little bit uh it's just that 
there's really only room for one major hit in a box, and it's either going to be one of the blue cards, which are numbered 1 to 200, uh, unless they're a midnight blue card, then there's only 50 versions of those. Um, and then after that, it's, uh, you know, you, it's autographed. So it's if you get a blue card, chances are you might not get an autograph in that box. So when I saw the blue card, I was like, uh, but I still was hoping. But no autograph, but still some, go, you know, great pulls in there. And we're going to have more. We're going to have more boxes coming up. So thank you for watching this episode. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steel City, for doing this again and really brightening up my night. I had a, a long day, and it was a fun day for sure at the convention. I went to MegaCon, and it was a fun day, but I'm exhausted, and my eye hurts. And like <laughs> where we have a lot of stuff going on health-wise and stuff. So this was just a really nice end to my day. And, uh, and I know when Blue watches this later and the others, like, you know, whoever wants to watch this, I'll put it up on YouTube for my alters, you know, to, for Blue especially. Um, but anyone out there who watched the first episode and liked it, and we will have more. I know some of you might be like, dude, I don't really like card unboxings or whatever. This is something for me. Like, I, you know, I'm really excited for these cards, and so is Blue, and, and I wanted to make something that was just pure fun for us. And so if you watched and you enjoyed, you know, I'm really grateful. I just appreciate you being here. And let me know in the comments down below what you think of these cards. If you have any opinions on them, let me know. And, uh, you know, give me some luck. We got more cards coming in, and I would love an autograph in one of those boxes. So fingers crossed that we get one. Thank you so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace. Thank you.